welcome to the channel. Last week we went up in Wheels. Um, Danny done the business, didn't he? Aye, nice uh, double blonde. Um, I was happy. Made me Sunday, then the two uh, smashing Tottenham as well. So five goals, wasn't it? Five six. goals. Six no, down. Six, five and was it five, ten, twenty minutes? Five and twenty minutes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It was classic. We, we ended up fishing. Um, place called Ogmo Deeps. Um, we got hounded with dogfish and we had small eyed rays and blondes. But we're not going to. I've seen now, if we go to the van and get something to eat, <coughs> Danny <coughs> ended up putting the match on, like, on his phone, we ended up watching it, like. A um, couple, couple of bacon and egg sandwiches, uh, listening to the match, and uh, it's just. Oh, it was a good weekend. Um, this week, well, what is it, five days later? Aye, maybe five days. <laughs> We're back on the Sunday and it's what yeah. Thursday of the day. Right, so there you go, and four days later we're, uh, we're heading up the Highlands. Um, going to test some uh, gear out on a, on a nice big skate, hopefully. Yeah, it's a target fish for a bit. Um, hoping for a cuckoo ray as well, but... Uh, that would be a nice cuckoo leg, wouldn't it? Definitely, definitely. Um, nice leg. So I, yeah, that, that's that's the, uh, the main target of of the next four days. Um, we're going to be testing a few hooks. Got some new uh, braid by Seaglo, a Kaiju braid. Um, going to be testing that out, um, see what it's like. That's actually a really nice braid though. I, I used the 50 pound stuff. Oh, for the 85, 85. The, oh, the 50 pound stuff was, was really, really nice. Um, I couldn't fold it really. Not a nice, casted nice, caught fish. Um, it was really nice stuff like. Um, so I, that's, that's the... We're going to a place called Auburn. Um, it's a lovely town, like being up here many, many a times. Secret. Secret, I see. It's a secret. We can't open. <laughs> um, hopefully, we'll, we'll get a target species. Fingers crossed. Fingers I'll let you crossed. know. We'll arrive at three minutes past 11 tonight. I think we're going to miss fishing tonight. We're going to set up the set up the gear and get it all sorted and sort of go over, go over the reels and that, go over the rods, make sure they're all I read from last trip. And then uh, how about it? Early in the morning, uh, Ryan will get up and make a nice bacon sandwich, hopefully. <laughs> and then uh, we'll Happy just go at it. How about it? Aye, so aye. Well, um, next stop, we'll, uh, I'll show you a bit of the mark. Uh, not all of it, but some of it. So <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. So I thought I'd do a little uh, bait up video while Ryan's busy with the other rods. Um, I'll do two two bait ups. I'm going to do a skate bait up, um, and I'm going to do uh, a ray or dreaded doggy or whatever. Um, so I'll start with the big baits. Um, right. So shout out to Ari Riggs and Bait as well for the bait. Short notice as always. So, joy mackerels. Right. Um, first off, it's a fallacy you don't need big, massive baits for for skate. Um, a, a, a nice size bait will do you. Um, but the main thing you need is a nice size hook. That, that's the most important thing. Um, to be honest, it's pretty much like fishing for thorn box back at home. Um, just a bigger, just a bigger bait than a thorn back. Um, so with the last deck as per usual, go heavy on it, wrap it all up, get it nice and tight. <clears throat> Taking care of the top eye, make sure you squeeze that in, and so it's not going to move around. Uh, give it a lot, plenty of elastic as you do. Grab a hold of that there. I've been cutting my fingers, so let's keep catching us there. So. so, right. The usual, a couple of times around, put it through the bait elastic, give a snap off. That's pretty much your skate bait. Or any large fish, if you're fishing for conga or anything, basically, have it on a big old pulley. 
and it was splashed out. Jesus Christ, and it was splashed out. Um, a bit different up here. Um, we run the splashdowns in a, a smaller loop so they fit in. Um, yeah, so that's one bait. And the next one is we'll use this half of the tail for the next bait. Um, the next bait we're only running on smaller hooks, just a scratching hook while we while we keep myself busy during the day. So right, that's that cut there. Right, so today I'll be using on this rig is uh, the Seaglo Absorber. Um, Fantastic uh, rig body, um, rig body shock leader. Um, basically, does it all. Um, it's not bad. We've got this one in 80 pound, so we're going to give this a go. I've already pre made the rig, um, which is here. Uh, will be a 1 0 Kentaro short shank. Um, on, a, on, a, on a really small rig, but like I said, we're only scratching with these. Um, the Seaglo Aero beads. And we also have the SX, SSXL uh, large clip. Once again, on a Gemini splashdown. Um, Daddy, wait there. Just get the doggy. Aye. Sound. Well, there you go. And he's, he's getting a doggy there. So the scratching rigs are working. So back to baiting up, anyways. So you don't need a massive bait. Just literally small baits. Do you good for scratching. <sighs> Once again, the, the elastic comes out. Bind it up nice and tight. Um, you will find you'll get inundated with a dogfish up here. Um, especially on the fish baits. Um, so yeah. So what I'm gonna do is, while he's busy wheeling that dogfish in, I'm gonna bait this up and then I'm going to give him the rod to send us out and I'm going to put the skate bait on or conga or whatever large other species is there I'll be doing I'll be sending that one out and he can play with the with the, with the dogfish right so that's it all right there guys just thought I'd show you uh, one of the rods we're using the day uh, well there's actually staying off it was forecast for a bit of rain but it seems to have stayed off We've been getting bites, uh, dogfish, there's, there's thornies there, like we're getting the odd bite, but you can tell it's a thorny, like, but we're using quite big baits, so we've decided uh, we're going to put some scratching rigs on. And Danny was just doing a video there, I've just noticed, um, of another rig here I've baited off, so I take it it's mine. So thank you very much, Danny. But this is the rod, one of the rods, the Century Fire Blade. This one's 14 foot and it's rated between four to seven ounces. The guides on them are multi-purpose, they're for fixed spool and multipliers. The anti-tangle delta four watt sloping rings. Also comes with a nice Fuji wheel seat and Japanese shrink wrapping. The rod itself, I've had many a fish on it. I've had a lot of specimen spur dogs on them and to be fair, I think it's a brilliant rod for, for the cod on the northeast coast. Um, I can't, I'm really looking forward to use it this summer. And to be fair, I'm going to try it for skate tonight. But what plans tonight are, we've got two rods out each. As soon as one of the lads has got one of the skate out, it's the other lads turn and just use the rods until we pick a skate up. I'm hoping I'm going to pick a skate up on the 14 foot. Obviously I kind of choose, can I? It's one of them. I've, I've tried many a times now and it seemed to take the other rod all the time. So, fingers crossed, we'll, we'll get one on the fire blade. I'm dying to get one. But, that's how we go. Right, it's been a few hours um, on a date with a, with a dreaded dogfish, as presumed, but that was on a fish bait, so it's kept Ryan quite happy. Uh, Fireblade <laughs> fire uh, handling it, no bother. Uh, <laughs> Slight bend in the rod. <laughs> <laughs> no big fish on it. Um, no big fish for me neither. Um, but 
That's daylight in it, you know, which hour. That's fishing. Maybe it would be called catching if it wasn't, you know what I mean? But that, that's the way it is. Um, so the next plan of attack is, I think, um, we're going to call it half time. Go get some food. Um, Camp a van. <laughs> so on the stove. Do a bit R and R. Um, bit of fruit. I uh, get some. Get some. Uh, get a cup of actually because I, uh, I just need a cup of. That's all I need. That'll coffee for you, and if <laughs> you like a coffee, Definitely. loves a coffee. Like, um, so I have a coffee, and then I think what we're gonna do is um, come back round for for a little bit later on, which you know what, um, just as it starts to get a bit darker. Um, personally, myself, I don't like fishing uh, daytime. Um, but it's, 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 it's the, bigger, the bigger fish come in, especially which how I, you try and get your, your tides and your, your moon phases and your, your last light, first light, <sighs> all married up together and you've got a bigger chance of catching something like a skate, you know. Definitely, um, definitely. Big moons, I've, I've, I've always tend to find I've picked up skate on the bigger moons, mm -hmm. uh, moon phases. Uh, big tide, right, certain marks, big tides or small tides, depends on which part of the highlands you're at. Um, preferably, when you when you're right up in the locks and there's there's no like tide, I prefer the bigger tides. Yeah, it's it's a lot more push through. Push. Um, but you're on a mark like today. It is where you, you everything it, has to coerce yeah. and coincide with each other to get to get the you need to the get that magic tides. bay moth. Um, but it is what it is, guys. It's fishing. Um, if it, if it was if it was easy, everybody would do it, I suppose. Um, well, the views are amazing. Like, oh, I wish I could show you. But the unreal. But, um, so yeah, plan of attack. We'll go and get some food. We'll come back uh, a little bit later on, and hopefully we've got screaming reels to attend to. Um, yeah, um, like like Ryan said um, in his video, uh, he was have, we're having a chat, and because uh, there's only the two, uh, and the, the, all the century rods are out. Um, what we're going to do is we'll switch up tonight. We'll, we'll we'll scrap the um, the uh, scratching rigs and we'll just go we'll just go big rigs on 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 all the rods. And we'll have four rods out. Um, obviously, Ryan's hoping that we'll we'll land a big skate or a bigger fish on the fire blade, um, which would be really good to see. Um, put it to its test. Um, but if not, if if the rod come, if it comes on another rod, because you can't obviously choose what this rod it goes is, on. I. Like I said, if we get one in, um, it'll go over to the next guy. We're, we're here as a team to, to, to get a skate out, so, um, yeah. So basically, if I cut the skate first, yeah? If I get the skate out first, <laughs> he can have all the rods after that, because I'll be sitting there relaxing. Because if anyone's ever been skate fishing, will know <laughs> it is hard work. It is backbreaking, and anyone who says it's easy, it ain't easy. Uh, so it's like that. Had... Yeah, tattoos, isn't it? Ah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, well, that's just like that, you know, uh, tattoos. <laughs> and it should, should be like, doesn't yeah, hurt. I, fell doesn't, I love it. Nah, <laughs> nah, it's just sick. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, it's uh, it'll happen. Um, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's it's a good mark, but if. If anyone's been skate fishing, we'll know it's back breaking. Some lads have been up to three, three, four hours. I've had skate on when I first started skate fishing, up to three hours, and I look back now and I think, I don't know how the hell I did it. And I lost it. So, and it was like, <laughs> after three hours, the Bane looked at us. Skate fishing. And he, and he was like, it's all right, Dad, it's all right, Dad. I'm, I'm, oh, you know, it is what it is, like, you know. But uh, the last skate I had on, which they, I landed, was I had it up in the water and 15 minutes, uh, there was a lad next to us who got a skate. Hero, I was hero. <laughs> well, this is the best bit. I had to hold the skate on for 30 minutes on top of the water, and it never dove once. It was it was just played played a blind. I did. I, I, like I was panicking, waiting for him to get the skate because we didn't want to cross lines. And oh, no. it was it was a magical night. He ended up uh, he landed his. His was 207, I think it was, and mine was 171. Nice. Still nice and fish. Then still nice fish. Liam Gunn, who's on the team, um, he played he played a massive part on that night. We had five skate out, and he he helped while I mean. Was it like the buses? Oh, it was. Ah, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was. But Liam played a blinder that night, and the ga his gaff work was meant. He he was, he was the flying Scotsman, like he was. He, he played. That's he played what you need, honestly, mate. and and he got the skate on. It was the last skate of the night, and he was pagad. 
and I and I locked them. I, I felt so sorry for him, but I tell you what it is. He got it Trojan. up. Trojan. Oh, ha, ha, yeah, he's a I think, you find, I think you find that extra <laughs> special bit of power. So, to, to, but it did like like Ryan says, it's best working in the team. Um, it, it's teamwork, it, like. Yeah, it, teamwork makes dream work up here. Um, it, it is what it is. Um, skate is, it's it's one of those, it's, it can either make it or break it. Cause yeah, I, you, it. You can fish so many times in so many venues and put all that time and effort in and still not be ro rewarded with it. And then your turn comes, everything everything just falls into place and then and the, you hear that real scream off and it's it's a it's a, it's it's a three year. lovely sound. It was three years it three took year. to get my to, to land it. I had skate on and lost them. And I've done a few I've done I've had a few drops like I have yeah. to admit and I think I'm on me I was on me six or seventh session um of trying to find them. Um and as you know, it's a lot of a lot of miles, a lot of money, it is, uh, yeah. a lot of work, a lot of effort. It does um, a lot of effort, like a lot of tears, yeah. <laughs> emotionally crying inside. <laughs> but it's it's one of those, isn't it? It's it's fishing at the end of the day. You you, you come up here to, to 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 break your PBs and beat your PBs and and find bigger fish and and it it it, it all works better if you've got a good team with you and you've got good members who. Work like clockwork and know how to do how how to how to help you and and without even saying anything the 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 the, the things appear that you need. Um, so yeah, um, I, we're on two teams at the minute. We're Team Century and Team C. Team C the yeah, lads yeah. are are great. Like yeah, um, there's some of the lads on the Century team come up on the skate and we we'll help each other. You know, and a couple of lads there, uh, Craig Port and Tilly Hall were up before. They never had a skate out, but they had a skate the trip before. Yeah. Uh, they had two. It was something stupid, like 11 hours or so. I could be wrong, don't quote us, but it was a long way. The company was this mark. They come, they must have had three or four casts each. Got a skate each, and then travel all the way back home. That is <laughs> so elated. It's a way to do it, isn't it? It's like, it com skate guys. completed it, lads. I'm away. See you later. <laughs> Honestly, um, that's that's mint like. But like I said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, we're gonna end this and we're gonna go and get some food yeah. and do a bit of R and R, have a nice cup of coffee and that chill for a bit and then uh full full plan attack ahead again. Um yeah, so see you on the flip side eh. Did run in like hell. Oh, yeah. That's fucking off. Where's your line pointing? Straight in. Straight out, that's all right then. And loosen the drag if you've got to, Dan. Just a touch. Daddy, lad. Doing really well, mate. Down. Right, yep, go for it, yep, straight away. Yes, well done, Danny.
Because it's my line. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's, it's coming straight away. Give it some stick, like. Oh, have you not? Oh, yeah. The next tide will take on me. Yeah. Straight back down the depths. I've never been missing with me. Hey. We're Jim, back. We're back, I we're back. What a night. What a night. I hope you can hear we're with this wind like. Um weather's taking a bit of a turn in it. Aye. Bad turn. It's a stiff wind come through and it's cold and all, so I say what? what? Miserable. Easily. Very uh, easily. East, uh, east, 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 east. Change marks. Had a fantastic night last night. Tell you I'd get one first. <laughs> you did, you did. Uh, bang on high water. Danny gets a crack and bite. It's a way. Just lunged over. I seen the bite, I was like, Danny, Danny, skate, skate. I just knew straight away, just lunged. Pick, right. Picks up the rod. There was a lot of that. <laughs> uh, right, straight, uh, picked it up. Straight in uh, battle mode, like. Um, it, it ran quite a bit actually, so I had a, a lot of line to gain back, um, which was the easy part kind of. Uh, it came in, it, it came in close, but then the fight began because it just didn't want to move. Um, so there were loggerheads, um, both of us, just at stalemate really. Um, but she, she gave up in the end, and uh, we got her moving after, after about. What, 30 minutes? We've got, got, got to move in. Yeah, 30 minutes. Um, and 45 minutes later, she was she was beached like, she, she was up. Um, <coughs> took all the, took all the um, leeches off her. There's a lot of leeches. Off. There was a lot lots of on her, I mean, lots and lots. So we took all them off and had a look at her, made sure she was all right, made sure. And got out the tape measure to find out the, the ultimate weight. Um, 66. 66 by 86. 86. That's uh, right. 86 by 66. Yes, 86 by 66. Yep. So that was the final, the final uh, measurement. Was and 100 was it? We think it's 199 or it's 198. It's, it's one of the two. There. It's. Uh, um, so yeah. So um, put her back. Watch that go gracefully. Gracefully, uh, she gave her a bit of a show on the top of the service, which was nice. And then uh, we just went back and baited up more rods. This time I, I, I opted out after the long fight. <laughs> and uh, he decided to give us all the rods. All the rods, <laughs> all Ryan's. Uh, so I had, I, we had three rods. So I had four to go. I said, no, I'll fish with three. One left, one straight out, one to the right. And um, again, small, small baits. No big baits involved, was there? Nah, you don't need big baits. Really. Um, it was actually silly the size of my bait. Yeah. It was no bigger than my thumb, really. Um, it's pretty pretty small for for a bait accordingly. But what? But it was a, um, a mackerel. The mackerel head part with its its mouth chopped off, and the the bell part of the octopus uh, wrapped around it. I mean, it was no bigger than that. It was quite chunky, but it was it was small. It was probably smaller silly. than the bait up that you're doing on the video, oh, wasn't yeah, it? Oh yeah. A lot smaller on the beard up, um, but yeah. So that was that was what was mine, and then obviously Ryan. Yeah, uh, 
we tucked in for the night thinking it was going to be uh... <laughs> well, it was high water when Danny got his and tide was ebbing and I found it the best time on the, on the ebb and three hours went by <laughs> nearly four and I'm, I'm sitting there thinking oh god oh no it's going to be one of those nights is what it is come back the next day but no rod art straight over straight into it and it wasn't so much getting it off the bottom it was just a pain in the arse it kept on running getting it in running getting it in running and to be honest i honestly thought it was a meal it did, um, it did fight like a meal sure, it, did, 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 it, did, it did actually fight like a meal it, um, it did i get gets it on top obviously done all the hard work team work gets it on landed it was a nice fish of 180, I'd say 183 or 186. It was 64 Four. by 84. Aye, 64 by 84. 64 by 84, I think. Uh, I've got the measurements road doing anyways. It's been a long night. We got we, we got back to the, the to the uh, the camp at half five in the morning. By the time we measure, I got photos and stuff. I actually got to sleep about six, but there was a uh, <laughs> <laughs> a rib rendezvous where we were at, um, which 70 ribs decided to, to ascend onto the beach and harbour and start playing bagpipes at 8 o'clock in the morning. So, uh, yeah, I was uh, back up uh, at 8, so still no sleep, uh, about two hours. Um, we're back on it, um, so yeah, eventful night. We've decided, no, after something to eat uh, we've seen the lads on the boats had a big good crack with them oh uh, yeah alan sloss and darren sloan popped down to see where we were there um had big a big shout out to them guys and uh, uh, had a nice pollock and all and some did, thorns. I, alan had a nice one yeah. oh, he was nice and we didn't see thorns. dan fraser Aye, dan he was there now. Dan Fraser. sorry mate for missing you out <laughs> um, but He's, all in all uh, it was a good it was a good a good, a good uh, experience last night um Smashed me PB by poof, poof, poof. That's 116. 116 and then 198, 99. Uh, so I. 85 pound or something, it's something like 85 pound. <laughs> it's like pulling up a, a, a garage door through the water. <laughs> That's why they can't bond those. Um, but we've come to a new mark the day, fished it many, many years ago. A place called the Windsock, a well known place in Auburn. Well known for spur dogs. Actually got talking to a local. A lad landed a skate here the other week. Which is not odd, but like it's not it's not a venue you would come for skate. But we haven't come for skate in any ways, we've come for spur dogs. Fishing over low water a couple of hours. I'm just getting a touch there, I, I think. Say that. I just need to mend that line in uh, a bit. So. Aye, a bit slack line. Just up back myself. Aye, aye. So hopefully we might get a, a spur dog. I think tomorrow we're gonna go for spur dogs and all. Or even a thorny. We could go back for skate again, but it's nice to get a variety of species. I know everyone's like, oh, why don't you go for skate, 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 skate? But it's it's nice to get a variety of of species. We're just using small pulleys. I like to use a. Well, to be honest, I was influenced by the Scottish lads to use wire trace. Now I used to always use a 150 pound line, and I've only ever seen a once been bit off it was a, good, a very very good friend of mine god bless his soul he's not here now he had a spur dog up the top of scotland near thurzo and i'm not jordan it was a spur dog and it looked well over 20 pound it was huge biggest spur dog i've ever seen and it bit through it was on top of the water and it bit through the 150 pound line talking to the scottish lads they swear by using wire and they, it's their bread and butter and they've rubbed off on us. I use a wire trace. I still that use mono mind, yeah, um, but I've yet to be bitten off. I suppose when I get bit off or I see it, then I'll, 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 I'm using wire today actually. Um, you normally you normally use a bit of like uh, rubber stuff on the top uh, and all, or don't it stop spurs from biting uh, through? Uh, just protect that the back end of the knot where the hook is, uh, run it down, cover over the eye of the hook, and then and that's it. It's You're good to go, but. Like I said, I've, I'm yet to be bit off, so... And if, um, if no one knows, spur dogs have got like a type, type of formation of teeth and can bite through through mono, like... Also, watch your fingers when, you, when you're when you duking them and they've got two nasty spurs on the back. Yes, very sharp, them. They've, they've very actually very got like a, um, a venomous 
anti-coating on or something, it's haven't it? Anti-coagulant, Ant I think it is. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, very kit. A lot of lads have had them stuck in their weirdos and get a hole in their weirdos. So, be very careful when you when you're going for spur dogs. But if you ever go on, at least use a heavy mono, something covering above the hook, like a rubber tubing or something. Yeah. I like to use like a glow in the dark tubing, like I do in Norway. Yeah. yeah. Use that, I think that. Especially in the deep locks and yeah. whatnot, it, it, it does help. It does, uh, um, 100%, like 100%. Also, Wasteling, a Wasteling is a good purchase, um, a Rapala one. Uh, mm. Handling of the of spurs is paramount. Get them in a Wasteling and wear them properly, don't be hanging them from tripods or whatnot. Or it's, it's just, just not, it's good. not on. It's, it's not good at all. Get them in a Wasteling, wear the Wasteling first. Tear your scales. Normally about 15 ounces to a pound of dry sling. And then you know get your spur in and get it weird. Get a nice photo and get it back in the water. And don't quicken. hold its tail. Aye. Stretch your fish, knock us his organs, you know. Yeah. Hold it, support it, you know. Yes, definitely. Darkness is what, nine o'clock or something? So what uh, first of the flood, which hour? Hopefully get get something at any ways. I think his rod will go first this time. You reckon? I'm just too tired to, to, <laughs> to want to go tired. first. Probably three hours sleep or something. So I I let him I let him run the show tonight, he can take our I'll have a bit R and R fall asleep on this uh, yeah. seat box. Just wanna apologize the for some reason the GoPros keep uh, cutting in, cutting out like so having a little tantrum. Tantrum I uh, so fingers crossed uh, Hopefully some fish here. <coughs> Hopefully. Um, give them a view of the place, see what, what they think of it. Um, obviously, those that haven't been, they can, they can have a look. Look, yes, I'll show you it. Got the Fours of Laura over there. Yeah, I think it's, is it Captain's Wharf or Captain something over there? Look at all the boats are. Um, it's a nice point over there, which I've fished there before, had fish. There's a guy on the end, the split. I don't know if he's had fish or not, like, but let's see what happens. He's a brave man in this wind, I'll tell you now. Right, just talk about a bit of the rig there. Um, the, the video there I was on about using a bit, bit of wire trace, like. So all I use is just take this bit of seaweed off the left there. Right, is just a short pulley. No, that's. But I use a 150 pound mono, and the 150 pound mono is then tied on to the wire trace. And there's a wire, wire trace. And on here is your luminous sea glow bit of tubing. Excellent stuff for spur dogs. So, all I do is put a bit of fish bait up. What I normally do is I match the bait the size of the hook. Obviously, you've got. I use a bit of a uh, paper clip there to hold your bait. And all I do is put the bait into the paper clip like that. So the bait is held on the hook all the time. So it doesn't mask your hook. Plenty of times in the past where you've been getting a bite and the bait ends up masking the hook. So to prevent it, I use a paper clip like it. Just put a bit of bait on. Using a 3 ocean out from Sea Glow, it's one of those cattle hooks. Really, really sharp. Really, really sharp. See the point on there? Really sharp. So, don't use big baits, not for spur dogs, I don't. But any fish bait, squid, 
um, crabs being known to, to catch uh, spur dogs. Uh, and if you can, if you've got whiting about, use whiting. It's like chocolate for them. Spur dogs love fresh whiting. You will nail spur dogs if you can catch them. If you can catch pinhead whiting, stick them on as bait. Brilliant source of bait. Like, brilliant source of bait. Chuck on a new walk, nice spur dog there. As well, we can see there, see it spurs. There's a spur there and a spur there, and obviously it's teeth. So we'll get this one straight back. Hopefully there's more. Hey, it's been a bit slow tonight. Had a few bites. Um, managed a, a nice, nice one back right there. But it's starting to starting to rain there, isn't it, Danny? Aye. I think, I think we deserve some sleep as well. Yeah, we? I think we need some beauty sleep, like. And uh, tomorrow, fancy some more spur dogs or something? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, see if we can find somewhere to like, get some sleep and. Uh, get back at it tomorrow, refreshing up and hopefully catch some more fish boats. Nice fish. Let's get them back. Um, welcome back. Uh, sorry, that was a phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, wanted man. Um, right, so last night, um, it was a tired one. We'd only been on two, three hours sleep, so to be honest, fishing was slow um it was about uh what, maybe seven anglers all together oh, no I mean, six anglers i think it was six anglers on the map two four six so not eight was it eight eight much. anglers um we were the only ones with fish we had spur dogs and thornies danny was wrecked like danny was falling asleep on his box <laughs> so just taking a toll on it but um i think that's down to because we used the seaglow lumi beads um as soon as i seen we light them up uh they, they, all of them Pretty much came across to ask what they were, um, which seen us get the fish and they didn't get anything. I mean, they got the, the, the dreaded dogfish, but... They'd start, when I started putting the bead on, they started yeah, getting the bites, yeah, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. But uh, they were nice lads, nice uh, lads, right, had nice some good crack, um, good crack on them. So fishing didn't last very long, I wouldn't say it wasn't a bumper session, I mean, we're... Day four, an hour and a half. 
but letting them, letting them try some rods which we've never tried before for yeah. century, century gear. Um, um, one of them, uh, Chris Rock Berkey was called, nice yeah. lad, really nice lad, wasn't he? Yeah, he was good, using right. the, the comp, uh, is a comp S and the... I think that's what they were, green bands. T800, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so we'll give him a shot of the fire blade. Um, the the uh, 14 foot fire blade and the 13 foot, so just showing us the, the beginners. Quite, Really, really impressed with it. Um, funny enough, I'm still impressed with it for what it is. It's crack and rod, absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be casting one later on, um, just putting a few leads out and baits out and see what's out there. Um, so, last night finished, we, we got to the mark where we are at now late. Um, it was better to travel up than to go to sleep, then have to do the travel. So, we'll put another hour, hour and a half on top of work. With a journey, um, which seemed we get to bed for about ooh, half one. Yeah, I'm well, glad we did now because that, that wind swung round oh, again yeah. south. But well, it was blowing easterly, then it went south easterly, then it went south. It looks as though it's blown more west now. So we've went to my mark and my shelter here, but further out, you, you can see you can see the, the waves coming round like a swell, but it obviously looks like a milk pond there, really. not milk pond, but it's, looks as though there's no wind, but there is. Um, We're hiding from the elements. The elements, oh, yes. just not saying it. Um, yeah, so today is um, the main concentration is we're going to do a few scratching rigs, I think, again, just to find some few thornies or cuckoos or um, majority of the little array species would like to, to target. Um, mainly to test out a few few more hooks from Seaglo. Um, just see what see what the range can do. Um, so yeah, I've I've opted for a few little rigs today um, with a one oh short shank Kentaro. Um, so we're gonna put them to the test. Not long pulleys, short pulleys, just to see what's in the. There's you've not had, much tight. You've had a couple thing. of fish out already, though. You've, you've had uh, you had a nice thorny. I would have said I about did. five pound maybe. Yeah, maybe that, maybe. Um, yeah. Yeah. Even bigger than that. Quite even bigger. It's a nice thorny. To be honest, um, weighing them isn't the, 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 the biggest, the big thing for us at the minute. It's just if it was a decent one, if it was, it was over ten pound, yeah. we'd weigh it. Like I mean, we'll put them on camera for you, um, obviously. Um, but um, I'd, it's it's literally just the, the the testing of the hooks and see what what's what. what. Um, obviously, if there's a big one there, I wouldn't say no. Um, but at the minute, um, I'm happy just scratching until darkness arrives. And then it'll be a change of game plan. I think we'll get a few more rods out and beef the bait up a bit more, beef the hooks up a bit more, and see what see what wants it, to play ball in the dark. There is small commons in this area. I'm a hoping for one. Where, where I am, but I'm not going to say I'm going to get one. Chances are probably not. But there's a lot of thornies and it's enough to entertain one on the rods. There's a lot of smaller fish here which we're going to be me doing like. Yeah. So for now, I think um, it's cup of time. Well, uh, well, he's going to be the rod in. I'm going to, um, I'm going to put the kettle on. Um, might actually even have myself a cheeky pot noodle, and we'll get back to you. Um, and Ryan's into a fish, so I'll take you over to him.
Joshua Chank. A little bit of hay mackerel. Aye. Absolutely fantastic condition. So yeah, we'll get him back, eh? <laughs> Alright, so there we're gone. Right, I'll put him back. Plenty of these about the dreaded dogfish. Let's get them back. In an absolute perfect in miniature little thorn bark. Feisty little thing, but there you go. Absolute little stunning little thing. I'm gonna get them back. Hey, you that one, Got it. All right, there, guys. Coming to darkness now. Uh, fish have went quiet, but I've managed to probably the smallest stony I've ever ever caught. But what a fish! Markings on it. Really nice little thorny. Let's get him back. Way, what a trip we've had. Absolute scream and plenty of fish. Definitely, definitely. Right, we have here with that. Biggest again. fish, 199 pound went to Danny. Thank well you. done, Danny. Thank you. I had spur dogs, thornies. I had to escape myself, 186 pound, I think it was, on the chart. Plenty yeah. of fish, plenty of action, plenty of laughs, uh, plenty of no sleep. I'm shattered like. So now it's the long trip home. Um, What's gonna be my next trip, you think? It has to be hounds, doesn't it? Hounds. Is that, that's, that's the only, it's the only option for us. Um, so yeah, I think the next trip is uh, get a hound session out of the way, then I'm away to Norway for a few days um, on the boat and then just back to making plans again, I guess. Um, maybe early top down wheels. Top, top be fantastic, like. Um, 
lie down wheels for a, for a, a bash on the top or more blondes more blondes yeah on it i want to uh, give a shout out to all right bait briggs and bait for the bait that supplied with last minute yeah bait Always was absolutely spot on like spot on as per um sea green cool boxes uh to keep the bait absolutely Solid for the point, the fact it's still frozen there. Um, big shout out to Seaglow, all the terminal tackle, Michael uh, West, Michael West, yeah. and then Sentry. Big yeah. shout out to Sentry. Um, what can you say? Sentry, Sentry, Sentry. Number one, UK Air so. uh, Rods. Also, I want to say thank you to Lenny Tackle and Bait in South Shields for the tackle and all which I bought from there in bits and pieces. Um, nice little shop in South Shields if, if no one's been yet it's a decent shop to go to or you've got another one who's Andy Rutherford who's in Roke Avenue and all Rutherford's Tackle two great tackle shops um, on the south side of of the town but uh, like and subscribe and all definitely mind. definitely right, uh, okay. give a big thumbs up like, like and subscribe uh, we've got a few more videos made obviously uh, it's, a, it's one of the first ones coming out, so it's going to be a bit of all our but We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll right. get there. We'll get used to it. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching me and enjoyed we're catching a few skate and some nice fish and that which we've put together. Let me know what you want with a catch in the comments. Obviously, the beluga whales or anything. Except for a challenge, because uh, we like a challenge. Yeah. Um, anywhere in the UK, have at it. Go for it. Um, we'll go. Tight lights. Yes. <laughs> See you on the flip side. Oh yes. Watch what you're doing. Tight lights.